Hello, YouTube fam. You must be thinking about living or moving in the Lynchburg, Virginia area because you have found me right here. And we're talking about seven steps to get you from where you are to right here in Lynchburg, VA. No stressing, no guessing. We're going to make it nice and simple so you know how you can move to the Hill City. Let's do it. Hey, I am JD Miller. I work with a small international real estate company called EXP Realty. I'm licensed and I live right here in Lynchburg, Virginia. And it's my goal to help you learn more about what it's like to live, work and play right here in Lynchburg, VA. If you want to do that, make sure you touch, tap, just ever so gently hit the subscribe and the bell and the like. You don't have to slam it and smash it take care of your phone, take care of your computer. But if you touch it, you'll be notified when we put out new videos. And if you want to connect, then all you need to do is give me a call at this number. Call me, text me, email me. I talk to people every single day about moving to and in and around the Lynchburg, Virginia area. So I would love to connect with you. And guess what? We already hit number one. Number one, of the seven steps to get you from where you are to right here in Lynchburg VA is contact me. Now you've been doing your research, you ended up here on this YouTube channel, and maybe you've talked to friends or family who live in the area, and that's great. You should gather all the information you can. But if you're even thinking about making a move, contact me so we can talk about it. And we'll move to step number two, set up a virtual meeting so we can talk face to face we'll get to actually see each other and talk to each other and learn about each other. You see, this whole process is really about you. If we were making a movie, you would be the movie star. I wanna hear your story. I wanna know, what are you looking for in the next place you live? Are you looking for a bunch of acres for horses? Or are you looking for a townhouse with zero or limited maintenance? Are you looking for a place that's close to work or school? how many bedrooms and bathrooms. I want to know all that. And we'll cover all that right here at step number two during our virtual meeting. But I really believe there's an even bigger, more important part of step number two. While we're talking and getting to know each other, we're going to know whether we are a good fit for each other. See, we need to be a match and not everyone is, and I understand that. So this meeting is a no pressure meeting. Doesn't cost you anything but some time, and it should take about 30 minutes. But again, it's about you. So if you want it to take longer, we can take longer. We wanna make sure that we're a good fit because we're gonna be together at least in talking and emailing and texting and hopefully seeing each other for a few months as we get through this process from searching and looking and visiting and checking out different houses to contracts and close, it's gonna take a little bit of time. And I know you wanna like the person you're dealing with, and so do I. And the truth is, I can't work with everyone that I talk to. As I said, I talk to people every day about living in and around the Lynchburg VA area. I can't work with all of them. And you can only work with one realtor. So we wanna make sure that we are good for each other. And when we do, we'll commit to work together and then we'll move to step number three. Now, step number three is something that sometimes people don't like to talk about. So let me sing it for you. We're gonna talk about money, money, money. Not a good singer, I know. But here's the deal. Lynchburg VA is a great place to live. It really is. 
but they are not giving houses away. You can't roll in and just say, I want that one, and they hand you the keys. So we have to talk about how you're going to finance it. Are you paying cash? Are you gonna finance it through a lender? And if you're gonna pay cash, then we're gonna get a proof of funds letter. If you're gonna finance it, then we're gonna make sure you're connected with a good lender and you have a pre-approval or pre-qualified letter. And here's the other thing about money. What do you want to afford? You see, there's a difference between what you can afford and what you want to afford. Many, many years ago, I walked onto a car lot. We were there for some reason, I don't even remember why, but the salesman knew my wife and I, he knew our employment, he knew our credit history, and I walked by a brand new truck sitting there. Nice and shiny, you know, the good reflection, like the wax and all that, that you never seem to get again after you buy it. And he said, that's a nice truck, isn't it? And I said, yeah, it's a really nice truck. And he said, uh, yeah, you can afford that truck. I don't remember if I ever told you, but it was like $50,000. And this was years ago. And I said, I don't want to afford that truck. My credit can afford that truck, but I don't want that payment. So whether you have $100,000 or a million dollars, how much of that do you want to spend on your home? That's important. We need to know not only what you can afford, but what you want to afford. So you decide what is your price range? Where are we looking? And then we'll go from there. Now, step number four is we're gonna talk all about the process from start to finish. We're gonna make sure we cover it all. And I want you to be comfortable with the process. I want you to be comfortable with what's going on, what we have done and what we're doing in the future. So here's the deal. You never, ever, ever, ever have to worry or apologize about asking a question. This process is about you and I'm here to guide you from start to finish and I want you to feel comfortable. So if at any point you're like, I'm not sure about this or that, don't worry about it. Ask me a question, text, call, email, let me know what's going on. We have to stay in communication so that you feel good about the whole process. Step number five, if it hasn't been fun already, this is the fun part. And hopefully we've laughed a little bit already together, but here's the fun part. It's searching for houses, checking out houses. And we're gonna do this several different ways. You are definitely gonna be on the lookout. Again, I know what it's like to look for houses. And I was on the internet and searching and clicking and going all over all the time. So you're definitely gonna be on the lookout. I will be on the lookout and I'll be seeing if anything comes across my radar for you. But also what we can do is set up a customized search. The things we talked about that you need, bedrooms, bathrooms, acres for horses, or 17 kids, or whatever it is you want, we're gonna plug into this search engine and we're gonna send you a customized list. When houses hit the market, you're gonna get an email. And you can get those emails daily, weekly, however you choose, we'll set it up so that you're being notified and seeing property as they're hitting the market. Now, if you're close by and you see something that you wanna take a look at, then we're gonna go take a look in person. But if you're not close by and you can't get there, then we can set up a virtual tour. So I can try to do it live. Sometimes coverage is a little spotty and we can't get it done live. But if not, then I'll take video inside the house, outside the house, up and down the road. So you can get a little bit of a feel for what the house is and whether it's something that you want to pursue further. The best way really is to see a house in person. And when we were shopping for our house not long ago, we walked into probably 20 different houses. And here's the truth. You have facts, numbers, bedrooms, square foot, how close it is to something. And you have feelings. How do you feel about that place when you see it? How do you feel about that place when you walk in and walk around and your feet are on the carpet and you're opening a cabinet and shutting a cabinet and you look at where your big screen TV would sit and you can imagine kids running around or looking out the window at those horses. How do you feel when you get there? Numbers are numbers, square foot, bedrooms, bathrooms. Yep, those are facts and they are important, but you need to feel the place also. So we're gonna make sure that we find a place that matches those up. Good facts, good feelings, so you're ready to move on to step number six. All right, step number six is we make an offer. 
And remember, if we're shooting a movie, every good movie that has you on the edge of your seat has a little bit of tension, a little bit of friction, maybe some challenges that the hero has to overcome. Well, this is your movie, you're the hero, it's your story, and when we put the offer in, we might face some challenges. That's okay, we'll get through them. If we can't come to terms and our offer doesn't get accepted, we just move back to step number five and we keep hunting. Now, here's what I believe. I fully believe in being ready and putting you in the best position, the strongest position to move quickly when you find the place you want and making the strongest offer possible. And that's what we are going to do. But I also believe that you will end up where you are supposed to end up. I believe if it's meant to be, it will be. So it's our job to get everything ready, to be prepared, to move quickly and with strength. But if it doesn't work out, then we take a step back, we continue to look, and we do find a place to get you under contract. And when we find that right place and we're under contract, then we're on to step number seven. Step number seven has a bunch of different pieces. After your offer is accepted, everyone signed, the contract's ratified, we are under contract and on our way to close, we need to take care of some things. A home inspection if that's what you want, an appraisal if you're getting financing from a lender, you're gonna to need to get information to your lender and information to your settlement agent who's gonna handle the closing and I'm gonna be with you the entire way. Remember, never, never, never apologize about asking a question and at this point you may have some questions and we'll make sure that we cover everything and we get everything where it needs to be and all inspections and appraisals are done so that we can get to close and that close is going to be about 30 to 45 days from the ratified contract so from the date you sign and they sign you're looking at 30 to 45 days to get those keys in your hand and have your new home. That's it, steps one through seven to get you from anywhere in the world to right here in Lynchburg, Virginia. And this movie may be over, but now it's time to write the next chapters in your story and get that sequel ready for the big screen. Now, in order for us to make this all happen, all you need to do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and if you wanna continue to learn about living, working, and playing in Lynchburg, VA, hit that little subscribe button down there and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. I would love to talk to you about finding the place where you can love where you live right here in Lynchburg, VA. Until next time, see ya.